Hey, what up guys? In this one, we have a huge mail day filled with a ton of golf cards. Uh, there's some other stuff that I'm adding to my personal collection as well. Let me just zoom in and show you what's going on here. Yeah, there's quite a bit going on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my best and open everything up, put everything out in front, and then we'll go through all of the golf stuff first, and then we'll touch a little bit later on the non-golf stuff. All right, so here's everything. I have all this golf stuff on the left and then all non got stuff on the right. So here we go, here is the first stack of cards I'm going to open up here. As you can see, this first one is of, and let me see if I can get this to focus here, Doug Gim. So Doug Gim, he was a guy that was pretty much, he caught fire I think once, but yeah, you can see, this is a Doug Gim rookie card that is signed. So that is the first one. Let's check out these other ones. Up next is uh, Georgia Hall. She is a major winner. Uh, and then, yeah, pretty much, yeah, you can get an autograph of her for not all that much. So I think I'm a big fan of the LPGA. So that's Georgia Hall signed card, sign of the times. Not a rookie card though. Up next we have the Spectrum Blue card. So there's a group, there's, there is some cards uh, that are, you know, you trade in a bunch of these Spectrum cards that are not colored and you can upgrade to blue pair or blue version. So that's what this is, and this is of Daniel King. So I bought a few of these. So this is like blue, it kind of color matches what she's wearing. So that is pretty neat. Next up, it's a rookie card of, and let it focus here, Brittany, Brittany Altamare. So she was on the last Solheim Cup team. Um, I don't know if she did all that great. Obviously the US didn't win that, but yeah, this is a rookie card of her. Yeah, still hasn't, I haven't seen her win in a while if she does have any wins. Yeah, she has no wins, but she has a lot of top 10 finishes. So that's where she's amassing those career earnings. And lastly here for this small stack, there is an autograph rookie of Maverick McNeely. So I feel like he's close on getting his first win. Uh, we'll see if that comes to fruition, but yeah, I feel like he's on the cusp of, of getting that first dub. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, pretty cool. So let's get to this next bag here. This is still from the same seller. All right, so we have Tiger Woods. We have it in this blue Spectrum FX card here. Uh, so this guy had a bunch of Spectrum cards, so I just picked up the ones that I liked. And yeah, this is just the blue version of that. It's kind of, you know, messed up at the top there, so not in the greatest condition. Always like to get Tiger Woods when you can, for, and that wasn't too expensive. Next up, is another Maverick McNeely card. And this time this is a rookie, um, but for, this is a patch. So I bought another Maverick McNeely card, doubling down on him. Hopefully he does well. Um, but yeah, I feel like he's on the cusp of getting that first win. So next up, Moria Jatanagarn. So I do not believe she actually has, she may have a win or not, but she it still has not broken through like her sister, uh, Aria Jatanagarn. Um, but, you know, definitely want to get an autograph of hers because, you know, I'm a big fan of the LPJ, like I said, but definitely a fan of the Ch Chitana Garden sisters. Um, kind of paved the way for Thai players, I think, for the LPGA. Th her and her sister kind of paved the way for a lot of the good Thai athletes that we have now. Yeah, so that's that. And then now we have personal favorite, Harold Varner III. Harold Varner III is now on live, but he was pretty much, I respect him for being straight up about why he went to the live tour. So that's why I kind of like him. But pretty much, yeah, Harold Varner III got his rookie auto. Yeah, he's done, you know, fairly well. Earnings is like five million. So yeah, done great on the PGA and hope to see him do well on Live Tour. And lastly is this guy here. This is Byung Hun An, but people call him Ben An. I think he's a really good follow on Twitter. He's pretty funny, uh, but he kind of became known as the guy that sco scored a huge score at uh, TPC Sawgrass. So Ben An, definitely a cool card as well. I hope he does well on the tour this year, um, but it's cool to get a rookie card from him. So yeah, like I said, all of these cards, you know, they aren't that expensive. These were probably like $15 at most for like the like the Maverick Manilis, but everything else was like less than 10 and you can get the auto rookie cards of them. If So I think this applies more to like really big PGA and LPGA fans where they know all the players and you know some of the lesser known names that being said let's move on here so this person this seller put more golf cards in here but the cards that i bought from him were this you know these faldo cards and i kind of wanted it was cool because he's offering all three of the parallels so we had a 97 out of 100 a 205 out of 250 and a 199 out of 500 so that was kind of cool i you know this was only like you know four bucks or something plus shipping so yeah wanted to get this kind of rainbow 
uh, of the parallels of Nick Faldo's shirts. And these like golf shirts, uh, I think it's um, worn by Nick Faldo in a tournament. So that's what is kind of cool. A lot of relics these days, uh, these companies aren't giving relics of of players that are game worn or game used and it's kind of a bummer but these golf cards definitely used in a tournament which is cool all right so now i'm situated to show some more cards in this order so this first one surprisingly not that expensive but this is a card of nb park so nb park you know a legend in her own right uh you know probably the second biggest influence for lpga golfers um in korea um, but yeah, you can get her auto for pretty cheap. I think it was only like 20 bucks, but man, this is pretty dope. NB Park autograph. Uh, so definitely had to pick this one up. So coming up, I'm gonna show you these two guys in a pair. You may recognize them. These are the Bryan brothers. So yes, Wesley and also George, uh, they have their autographs in the Goodwin Champions uh, set from a while back, but yeah. Cool to have their autographs. They're pretty huge on YouTube, obviously. And uh, yeah, you can get their autographs for really cheap. Okay, we also have Sign of the Times, Charlie Hole. So I got the Charlie Hole autograph here. Uh, big fan of Charlie Hole. She had a win uh, towards the end of the last year's season. Uh, and so it was cool to see her pick another W up uh, for sure. So glad to get her card as well. We have uh, Lindsay Weaver. So this was a very cheap card and I don't think Lindsay Weaver has had a win. She had a playoff last year versus Brooke Henderson and Brooke made Eagle and then she tried to make birdie and she couldn't, or she couldn't just make the Eagle, but Brooke just solidified it by uh, having, I believe an Eagle or a tap and birdie and she won that tournament. So, but pretty cool to get a Lindsay Weaver autograph. And then lastly, legend in her own right. <laughs> Here is uh, Shen Shen, Shen Shen Feng, basically probably the best I mean, maybe I, I'm misspeak, misspeaking here, but probably the best LPGA player from China. Uh, but yeah, she retired. So, um, but yeah, she was a baller in her own right. So that was pretty much all of the cheaper uh, PGA cards or LPGA cards that you can get for autographs. And now we're gonna get into a little bit more expensive stuff for sure. Here, this first card is, uh, you may have remembered from my last opening, this is the Heroic Beginning set, super short print set. Uh, pretty much this is, a card now that I've researched the Jordan one, like this is just a map, but the Heroic Beginning set is basically, you know, to show where this specific athlete was from. So Tiger Woods being from Cyprus, um, you know, that's where this card was created to tribute to where this person was from. And it's supposed to have a map from that Cyprus area. Next up is this cool dual auto of Lexi Thompson and Michelle Wee. This is the only Michelle Wee thing that I have. I hope to get some kind of rookie later, but yeah, this is cool. Uh, two out of nine you can get like the non-numbered version for like 50 bucks this two out of nine was a little bit more expensive but yeah i think this is cool two of my favorite lpga players cool little dual autograph here of lexi thompson and michelle Wee. for the last golf item this is probably the most expensive thing by far um this is a colin morikawa rookie card and it's still really high number this is out of 299 um, but it is graded by SGC, which is a grading company, and they have it as a nine, so that's great. Yeah, got to get Colin Morikawa. Hopefully he does well this year. Hope he gets hot. But yeah, definitely am excited to have this in the collection for sure. I guess in like the ultra expensive guys, he's one of the more affordable ones. But yeah, it's cool to have something of Colin Morikawa's now. Uh, and I like this because it's an on-card autograph. So it's not a sticker. He actually signed this card, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so that's it for the golf stuff. So if you want to just, you know, skip over the video now, that's that's pretty much all I had. Now the rest of the stuff is just personal collection stuff and we'll go through it a little bit more quickly. Uh, also, if you want to check out my collection, I have it online through Arena Club. But uh, yeah, let's get into this other these other things. So, all right, so here's the last of it. Just quickly going through this because all the golf stuff is out of the way and I think you're probably here for the golf, but if not, you're here to look at the rest of what I picked up in this collection. So we'll start off with this short stack here. This is a card of Steve Nash in his Broncos uniform because I am Santa Clara University alumni. So I'm trying to collect cards of people who are from my school, which is very far and few. So good for me because I can just collect them all on the cheap and they're not that, well, some aren't that well known. But on the other hand, this is a card of Jalen Williams. And he was just drafted, I think eighth overall for the Thunder. Got to get these two guys in their Santa Clara University uniform. Santa Clara here, Broncos there and I have a few more coming on the way. So that's that. 
this stack here is I guess funnily called my like Asian people, Asian icons uh, collection. So this is a card of Sabine Wren, and this is voiced by a uh, Tia Sarkar. You might have known her, known her in a lot of roles, but I watched her in The Good Place, uh, and so she plays one of the minions in The Good Place. So awesome to get her. Here is an autographed card of Karsten Teva, most notably in the Book of Boba Fett series. Uh, and then Paul Sun Hyung Lee is the actor here. This one's more controversial, but uh, this is Rose Tico, Kelly Marie Tran. So I thought I would get her as well. Pretty great. And then also, uh, I could not find uh, any like autograph stuff of uh, Bayes Malbus. Uh, he's in uh, Rogue One. Um, so I just got a relic card of him, um, Bayes Malbus. It has a, a droid uh, relic there in there as well. May or may not remember him. This is ice skater Vincent Zhao. He uh, helped contribute to US medal for uh, teams, team skate ice skating in the Olympics, but unfortunately could not compete uh, due to the fact that he got COVID. So he couldn't compete on the individual level. So that was super bummer. Also, this is not very centered. So this is a card of Christopher Shaw and he plays a big role in one of the animated series. So that's pretty cool. And lastly is Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth. She um, is acted, uh, the actress is Deanna Lee in Santo. Yeah, so, so this is like kind of like Asian icons personal collection. So that's that. This stack here, don't ignore this Pokemon uh, <laughs> trading card thing, but this is all Niner stuff. So this is an SGC 10 rookie of Brandon Ayuk, or we have a White Circles optic card of Debo Samuel, an older card of Jerry Rice, have to have him, and then also a rookie card of Trey Lance in his uh, Bison or in, in his college uniform. And pretty much, I have Purdy's card, so thought I would get the Trey Lance one as well. Uh, this is just a couple Zion rookies that I picked up just to make sure. You know, it's kind of like a FOMO thing just to have them. <laughs> um, also, this is a pretty cool stack here. So this is some messy stuff. Uh, this is a CSG8 Donruss Optic uh, Hollow card, um, Road to World Cup. Uh, and then I got a few other messy cards here as well. Hope to get them graded. Uh, and yeah, his, his base card here as well. I'm a big Kings guy. So we have a Davion Mitchell rookie card here. Come on. Davion Mitchell rookie card here, which is awesome. Then I have uh, Sabonis Panini one card here. It's numbered uh, 17 out of 25. Beam team, like the beam. Then we got a De'Aaron Fox PSA 9 uh, Fast Break Prism here. This is an awesome card. De'Aaron Fox, probably my favorite recent uh, king. And then you might remember this guy, <laughs> Omri Caspi. So Omri Caspi. Another favorite king of mine. Never really took off, but could shoot the three ball quite well. And then I actually got this for free on Whatnot uh, in a raffle. Tracy McGrady, PSA 6, but I really like Tracy McGrady too. He used to be my favorite as a child. I don't know why. I thought he was a baller and I was a huge bandwagoner. So it's cool to get a card of his. Coming up, also all my F1 stuff. So uh, I recently just got a pickup of some PSA 10s of uh, Lando. Uh, George, Max, and then also a refractor of Carlos Sainz PSA 10, so that's cool. And then I have a lot, a lot of bunch of base stuff here. Chrome Sapphire base stuff, nothing exciting. This cool picture of George, I thought that was really neat. I like him in these, in these glasses, thought that was cool. And then a Lewis Hamilton card, and then an autograph of Gunther. So I actually like Haas, they're, they're kind of like my team, so I pick Haas to follow and cheer for because they're somewhat, I guess, American, uh, other than Logan Sargent for this upcoming year. And the last stuff, we have uh, a, a Spectra card numbered of Fred Warner, and then also a Vernon Davis card that is numbered as well. And then probably the best Niner card that I have is this Debo Samuel Rookie Patch Auto out of 199 and that's signed there, so that's cool. And then I have this autographed jersey of Jerry Rice. So yeah, I plan on getting this framed eventually, but it is uh, pretty much Fanatics verified, and I have a card coming on the way to put in a frame with it. So that is pretty much everything 
Um, I have one more mail day coming up with a bunch of cards, but it's a little bit different. But then those will all be pretty much golf. But that's all of the cards. Uh, hope you find this stuff interesting. I thought it's just an interesting thing to share with you guys, especially because it's golf related. Uh, golf card, golf trading cards, they're in an interesting state right now. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later in a different video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing. We'll see you in the next one.